hello guys how are you doing i hope you're doing good welcome back to my youtube channel so today i just want to to go through a few issues that i came across and uh talking of abuse you know and uh unajua kuna watu maybe ufikiria that abuse ni maybe tu kuchapwa there are so many types of abuse and i i got this list eh, or i compiled this list as a result of maybe what i've gone through and this might um, help someone to distinguish between someone who is um, angry with them and someone who is abusing them i think to the best of my knowledge that's what i can say so to start with i'll start by maybe defining uh, abuse with my own terms eh? abuse i would say is uh, treating someone with um, with violence repeatedly or treating someone with cruelty yeah you see a person is just being cruel to you because uh, as human beings fine we make mistakes yes but there's a there's a way that someone can approach you regarding the kind of mistake maybe you've uh, you've done to them and it just hits a different nerve you know and so i came up with like a list of um, different types of abuse and i want to just go through them haraka tu one this physical abuse physical abuse ni ile ya umefanya mtu or okay umekosea mtu then he or she comes and hit you he or she you know uh go what do you call it throws object yeah to you just anyhow yeah that define physical abuse unaona wale watu kasirika mtu anakurushia kitu ama mtu anakasirika anakuja anaku ku push to the wall like i told you that it happened to me once then kama ni mtu anakugonga every now and then unapata at just a small uh, argument amekuhit or something that's abuse there is also another type of abuse that is the spiritual abuse spiritual abuse spiritual abuse is um, when someone uses religion to justify their abuse yeah unapata ati juu umekosea mtu or even mtu anataka tu ku, ku make you feel like uko worthless or something yeah anatumia biblia or bible verses like in my case i told you that niliambiwa na uh, kitabu ya kitabu cha hosea in the book of hosea those that followed uh, my my previous videos you know what i'm talking about so that's abuse there's also another type of abuse that is sexual abuse someone can abuse you sexually by uh, by this uh, uh, all in these ways eh? one rape and rape i don't know how i would maybe explain this eh? but even in marriages rape cases do happen yeah unapata mtu anakuja tu you know anataka ku have uh, sexual pressures with you without your consent that, that's rape you know uh, there is also restricting access to birth control uh, to birth control uh, whatever say eh? unapata right now in my case i think i explained to you guys there's this time me niliona to depending na the the character and the behavior of this person i'm not ready to you know parent with him or rather just to have a kid because the two of us we have a lot of issues already so bringing in another uh, person or a third party that's a kid in our family it will even create more issues and that's why i preferred buying some time and using you know a uh, contraceptive dionione how things will be so if someone denies you the access to that that is sexual abuse that is sexual abuse there's also unwanted physical contact unaona ile like mtu anakutouch to 
just anyhow you know or even maybe touching you um, not in a decent way that is abuse and also there is um, you know sexual photography or forced use of pornography no no maybe when you are um, having the pressure of making love and everything and then someone is taking photos or recording and it's it's not your wish you they don't have your consent rather that is also abuse so someone should be able to differentiate uh, those kind of things there's also another type of abuse and this is a silent killer he ineza kuwa tu pole pole this is silent treatment yani he i experienced this and i was feeling like kitangu ilikuwa inapasuka or something that you have issues with someone but then even um with all efforts of maybe making this person to come and reason with you ama akuje tu aku explain here he or she decides to just go quiet you know it hurts it them hurts because you know you you are left to wondering eh? am i the problem or what's the issue how can i do to maybe um you know correct this and everything yeah it's so it's crazy it's crazy yeah um silent treatment then you also have another form of abuse that is social the social abuse social abuse is when someone restricts you uh, to assess maybe friends unapata mtu amekuja amekutenganisha na marafiki zako yeah hataki ukuwe na that bond sababu uki uki relate na watu maybe watakwambia about him or maybe they will correct you on some issues so that's also another kind of abuse there's also another type of abuse that is the financial abuse financial abuse uh, this is when eh, someone restricts you from working mimi niliwaambia vizuri sana ni restopisho kufanya kazi or in the name of kuna kazi liko imepatikana only to come and realize it was not the case so if someone uh, denies you the the access uh, to go to work eh, that's an abuse by the way that's an abuse yeah if someone you know um force what can i say or how can i put it forcing financial issues to say maybe you're married but in the home stand everything financial every financial decision is made by the other partner that nini yako your opinions doesn't matter you know that is abuse yeah so you are supposed to be in a setup where you have the freedom to discuss finances that this is what you are going to do this is what you are going to you know to buy and all that yeah there is also uh, another type of abuse and that is the uh, technological abuse technological abuse this is um unapata mse that is your partner rather is demanding kujua patterns na, pa- na passwords zako maybe you have a laptop they want to know the the passwords that you use to log in yeah you have a phone they want to know the login details to the, uh, the devices yeah that is uh, uh, that, that is abuse as long as see where we mejitakia kumpatia if you so wish where and could but if you don't they force you to doing it that is abuse how i wish that we differentiated that then also uh, hapo kwa technological abuse kuna pia monitoring of um, you know how you or, or rather your communications you know if it's your device kama sasa mimi niliwaambia uh, my phone ingechukuliwa hadi saa tisa usiku unaamka maybe to go um, relieve yourself unapata mtu amekaa chini yako na simu yako going through the messages you know that is abuse and then finally there is psychological abuse psychological abuse he it's when and psychologically you are um, tortured let me use the word tortured because this person is behaving in a certain uh, in a certain manner for instance blaming you for everything you know when this person comes and blames you for a b c d yani hakuna kitu utawaifanya ama itawaifanyika ukose kuambiwa it's because 
of you this happened it's not, it's because of you uh this you know came uh, across so if you get yourself going through all those things eh, know that you are psychologically or emotionally abused yeah so uh there's also under the psychological abuse eh, there is a name calling and I'm not saying the nicknames, I'm talking of insults. Unapatam say that you've done a mistake, man is to error. You'll find yourself messing in one way or the other, maybe not even intentionally, accidentally too, yeah. And then somebody just comes and tells you of how stupid you are, you know, how you don't think, yeah. And then uh, still on emotional abuse to me psychological or emotional abuse yeah so emotional abuse peer you can get threats where your partner is threatening to maybe kill you to maybe you know stamp you to maybe do some crazy stuff to you that is abuse so guys be very careful when you're dealing with people these are some of the things that you're supposed to uh you are required probably to point out so as to ensure that you you are what can i call it you are safe let me just use that word you are safe because you are living in uh, in times where people are having so many issues and uh, anything can happen anytime so just ensure that you're safe in case you get your partner is uh, taking you through the physical the spiritual the sexual the silent treatment abuse the social the financial the emotional abuse just know how to deal with it and then if it's not working don't force it so many people have died all in the name of trying to protect the status of being married my friends you'd rather be divorced and alive than die in the so-called marriage yeah so those are some of the things that i randomly just came um came up with because i felt that i went through all this if you go through my other videos a video sorry you'll get to to know everything that i'm talking about here it's just a summary Spiritually, I have been abused. Sexually, misi mara moja, uh, ali make love na mimi nikilia machozi. So what kind of marriage is that? You know, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't right. If it's silent treatment, mi wakati nilimudiza mambo ya watu. So this is what uh, has happened. This was your past. So what are you intending to do? I got no answers. Yeah, those who are close to me and they got to see those charts eh? they can uh, they can bear me witness ningeuliza swali ni brutikiwe so wenye mnasemanga unakulishwa brutics eh mimi nimekulishwa kabisa but anyway it's in the past and i thank god that i am here now and um you know i'm giving my story to encourage somebody and uh, you that uh, you are in that kind of situation at the moment eh? just evaluate yeah look at the do's and the don'ts you know look at um, what can be addressed and what cannot and if it's not working I'm saying this and this again and again if it's not working it's not worth it guys don't kill yourself over it yeah so it's been amazing having you uh, in my platform guys thank you so much for watching uh, thank you for your overwhelming love kama kawaida god bless you and have a wonderful time bye